Hey, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to connect an Astro blog to Tina CMS. If you're familiar with static sites, you might be familiar with the CMS called Forestry. I believe they rebranded to Tina CMS, and they are marketed as the Markdown CMS. So if you use a static site, chances are Tina will be able to connect to it. And let's get started and use the blog template with Astro to build a CMS-connected blog. So let's open up our terminal and run the build command for Astro. npm create Astro at latest. Here we're going to just run through some default options, name the project, and then just get the Astro site built. So I'll name this testing Tina. I'm going to use the blog template. So this will automatically build a blog site that we can use, and I'll add the dependencies. All right, and we can CD into our repository here. Let's clear this. npm run dev to build the site. I'm just going to build it to show you what the blog template looks like if you've never used it before. This is what it looks like. There's a landing page, there's an about page, and then there's a blog index. We can click into posts. Okay, cool. I will type code space period to open up VS code within this directory. And it looks like we can import our site from GitHub. So why don't we push this to GitHub and see what happens? All right, so I push to GitHub. Let's import our site. We'll authenticate with GitHub. Okay, so I do have to add it to a list. There we go. So I had to add it to my Git. There's a list that you have to pull up to give permissions to Tina. But once I did that, I could see it here. Let's do HTTPS local host 4321. Client. So I have a client ID. What is your client ID? So I'll paste that in. We need a read only token. So I click the link. And we will use npm and we will use other for Astro and press enter when it asks for the default assets. I pressed enter to set it as public. So we need to add a script to the package.json as a dev script. Let's do that now. After this is finished, let's let this finish. All right. And it says Tina CMS has been initialized. And it gives us the command that we need. But before we do any of that, let's go to our package.json. We'll go under the dev script here and we will replace it with dev equals Tina CMS space dev dash C astro dev. So that is this command here. So, so when we run the build command or the, the dev command, it's going to build it with the Tina CMS. So I hope that makes sense. If not, let's let's run it right now and you'll probably see what I mean. So npm run dev just like we always do, but it's using Tina. And let's click the link here. Okay, so here's our site running locally. If we go to dash admin, we should be able to see the Tina interface. No, maybe not. Okay, when we build our site locally, we see the Tina dev server is running. And here we can go to the CMS. We can go to the API playground. We can go to the API URL. So it is dash admin dash index.html. Here's our CMS. Here's our posts, but it's not showing our posts. So that is something that we have to configure. We do see our media here. So all the images on the blog. So it looks like we have to configure something within the Tina config. And so I do see posts now. So here's my first post, second post, third post. I don't know why I sound so surprised, but I did need to change the path, obviously, within the Tina folder in the config.js file. Here's the path. So here's all of our posts. We should be able to edit. We'll add exclamations. Now you will have to go through and add the schema to these posts. I'm noticing that it doesn't like that I don't have a description, publish date, or image. So that is something that you'd have to go through and add to the schema for the blog post, which you can find 
right here within the config file. Here's the con here's the schema. You can go through and add different fields and if they're strings or if they're required or whatever. So that is something that I'm noticing because it will error out if you don't have that. But here's the post, another test. And we click in and it says, hey, and we can go over to the admin at admin dash index.html. And we'll see all the posts. Once we click blog posts. OK, there we go. Yeah, so pretty cool. Relatively easy, I think. First of all, if you're going to actually do this project and deploy it, you want to keep in mind security. I have been super lax with this project. You just want to double check and make sure that those are environment variables and they are set correctly with security in mind. I would never publish something like this public without taking those precautions first. And I think there might be other easier options, if I'm being honest. But yeah, Tina, CMS, Astro. Hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.